After I did a tutorial about Topaz Denoise and how I use it for denoising my images, I got asked by a bunch of people, especially on my German YouTube channel, whether I prefer Denoise or DxO Pure Raw. And the last time I tested DxO Pure Raw, my answer was clear. I prefer Denoise. But I thought maybe, I mean, there's a new version of DxO Pure Raw, the version 2. So maybe this has improved. So I thought maybe I should give it a second chance. So I basically tried it again. I took three pictures for today for this video that I want to compare the whole workflow give a bit an overview of how the workflow looks like, how this differs, and then of course how the result look different if processed in Topaz Denoise or with the different algorithms, the three different algorithms that you have with DxO Pure Raw 2. First of all, the workflow is slightly different. In Topaz Denoise, you can basically decide if you want to denoise the raw picture or edit it first with Capture One or Lightroom and then as a final step, denoise the picture. If you have seen my last video, I do the latter, I edit it to the end and then as a last step, I denoise it, but it doesn't matter so much. For DX or Pure RAW, as the name might suggest, you need to denoise the RAW file. So it's always the first step in your workflow. And with the old version, you just had to drag and drop the files. What's now improved is that you can actually in Lightroom uh, import the files and then just the ones that you want to denoise, you can denoise those. So for me, that's a big improvement. Even though I don't use Lightroom, I usually use Capture One. But in my opinion, that's quite nice. Another difference between the two is that in Topaz Denoise you have five different models and for each model you can tune the parameter and you can compare the models live and see if you change a slider. Well, it takes a few seconds, but afterwards you see what's the effect on the picture and then you can decide for one algorithm with one set of parameters, click on save and the image will be saved. Whereas on um, Pure Raw you can when you load the pictures, you can just select which of the three algorithms like uh, high quality, prime and D prime you want to use. And then this will be applied to all the pictures. Afterwards, the processing takes between one and three minutes. This might depend on your uh, computer, on the files of your camera and which algorithm and which software you're using. But this means for me anyway, that I will not do this for all of my pictures, just for the ones that are really the bit higher ISO and that I want to well, publish a bit bigger, um, either print it on my wall or um, sell it or whatever. And also I think noteworthy is that the file size is going to increase. So in DxO Pure Raw, you get a DNG, which is a digital negative format. So kind of a, a type of a raw format, but the file size was much bigger. So when I, my input file was a C raw file from my R5, which had around 25 megabytes and the output was around 150 megabytes. So that's a five or rather six fold increase actually. Um, I need to say with Denoise, the way I use it, I, as I said, I edit the image first, then I send it as a TIFF and then I save the TIFF file. So this gets even bigger. Um, that's then like 250 megabyte per file. On the other hand, for me, that's not the biggest deal. Storage is quite cheap. And as I said, I only do this for a selected number of files. So let's go and compare the images. Um, I was trying to import the DNGs that came out of DxO Pure Raw into Capture One, and they all had kind of a weird tint. And it was not just that the white balance was off. It was like, it looked like the camera profile was not supported or something. I don't know what exactly the problem is there. I will try to do some more research, but for the meanwhile time, I was just um, importing them in Lightroom and then everything worked fine, even though they were a bit more dull. I needed to uh, stretch them a bit, but this you do in a raw conversion anyway, and you can do this when importing, just applying kind of a style. So that's not a big thing. Um, so yeah, let's look at the different images. So the first one is an Ibex that I took in Switzerland. Um, you can see the raw is kind of noisy. So when I zoom in and compare the different algorithms, the first three are all from DxO. It's the high quality, the prime and the D prime. And we can clearly, clearly see that the order is not just random. Um, the high quality is the fastest, D prime is the slowest, but I would also argue that D prime is clearly the best algorithm. 
And to be honest, at this point, I don't care if it takes 30 seconds longer to process a picture if the difference in quality is this big. So Deep Prime does an excellent job here. So I wanted to compare it to Denoise. And that's what you can see here. So overall, the Deep Prime picture seems to have a bit more contrast, uh, a bit more details. Um, both are handling the noise quite well. Maybe the denoise has a tiny bit less noise, but at this point I really don't care about the noise anymore. It looks very good on both. Um, yeah, I think the DxO Puro is just a bit more sharpened. I would say it's not over sharpened yet. Not yet, but we're closer to the point. So the denoise, the picture from Topaz denoise is a bit more natural, but I think both look great. I'm not sure which one I would favor here. Maybe the one of DX or Deep Prime, but I think it's a really tight one. So let's move to the next one. This is obviously not Switzerland anymore. This was in Botswana. Um, and it's a completely different scene because now you have a background that is really noisy and just a silhouette. So not so much fine details. And if we zoom in, we still see some of these hair around the mouth and the trunk of the elephant. And here again, I tested the different algorithms and from the DxO ones, the Deep Prime was again doing the best. And when comparing it against the Topaz Denoise, we can see that the Deep Prime performs way better. Yes, there is a bit more noise in the background, but this also means that the color rendition or the, the, the whole sky looks a bit nicer. And if you look at the, at the small hairs coming out of the trunk of the elephant, there's a huge difference between the two programs. So here I clearly favor, um, clearly favor the XOD prime, but let's move to a third picture. This time it's a, it's a bird. It's a pipit, I think from, uh, also from Botswana. And again, the different DXO Puro algorithms on the left. And here for the first time, I'm not sure if not maybe the prime algorithm is performing better than the deep prime. Um, at least this was my first impression, but they are also quite close to be honest. And if I compare it to the denoise, then here I need to say that the denoise is performing better. The colors are a tiny bit different, but that's to be expected since DXO is of course a different raw converter. But Overall, I just feel like that the denoise, Topaz denoise file has much more details, finer details. So here for me, the clear winner is denoise. So overall, what's my conclusion? Um, will I switch from Topaz denoise to DxO Puro? Um, no, one problem is this color cast that I mentioned. And also otherwise, I think both do an excellent job on one image. One might be better on one the other. So switching is not really a thing. I could maybe use both and check each time. But to be honest, it's getting a bit too tedious for me. So I prefer to stick what I have. And this is Denoise for you. What do I recommend? I would highly recommend getting one of the two. Um, which one you prefer it might depend which workflow you like better. Um, might depend also on which types of uh, photography you do. These were just three pictures. Um, I don't know in which situations really Denoise is performing better than Pure Raw. Um, you can test both of them for free. I put some links below. If you buy them over this link, then uh, it's an affiliate link. So I get a small provision, which is of course nice for me, but you don't pay anything more than if you would buy them regularly. And speaking of the price, Denoise is a bit cheaper than, Deep, uh, than Pure Raw. But at the moment, both are on sale because of Black Friday. So um, DxO uh, Pure Raw will be on sale until Sunday, so tomorrow. Whereas the Denoise Topaz software will be on sale until next Friday. If you're thinking about getting one of the two softwares, I would really get them now because it's quite a big sale. Let me know what you think. Are you using one or the other? Do you switch from one or the other? Just let me know in the comments and see you in the next video.